The Atlantic hurricane season is finally over this Thursday. And though it felt at times as the worst season ever, it turns out to be the seventh most active in history. But September ranks as the worst month in total storm intensity. We had 17 named storms this year. Ten of them became hurricanes, six of them major hurricanes, category three and higher. Three of these monster storms hit the U.S. and I personally felt the effect of all three, along with my crew. In August, Hurricane Harvey was the most powerful storm to hit Texas in more than 50 years, killing more than 75 people and paralyzing Houston, the fourth and most populous U.S. city with catastrophic flooding. The next month brought Hurricane Irma. The Category 5 storm hit the Caribbean, destroying much of St. Martin, the island shared by both French and Dutch powers. The island of Orbuda was devastated as well, with 90% of its infrastructure wiped out. Irma continued its path to Cuba as the strongest system to hit that island in 80 years, damaging crops and collapsing the power grid. Then it crossed to South Florida. Many lost their homes in the Florida Keys and the damage to Florida crops was significant. On September 20th, Hurricane Maria made landfall in Puerto Rico as a Category 4 storm, killing dozens, destroying the electrical grid and halting all economic activity in the U.S. territory. More than two months later, the island is still struggling to recover, and it has been a rocky and uncertain process for those living there. I know I am happy to see the season gone. The U.S. National Weather Service had predicted that 2017 would be an above normal season, and it was right. It was also the costliest ever for the United States, with damages topping $200 billion. But one thing we've learned, it's not a question of whether storms will form along the Atlantic's Hurricane Alley. It's about when and where, and most importantly, being prepared. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.